Tyler and I are pretty excited about today because A, we get to try out a new bait. Very excited. And B, a, B. we're hitting up Tyler's favorite species. We are. Crappies. <laughs> I am stoked. And you know what? It wasn't even my idea. Sarah this morning said, let's go fish for crappies. Let's try hot crappie. Because we were informed by Freedom Baits that they got a lot of new soft plastics coming out and they wanted us to try them out. So that's the new bait and yes. we're excited about that. So Freedom Baits gave us a box of some new baits yeah. and I was going through the baits last night and I picked one out and I was like, yeah, we gotta go crappies. You're like, this could be gravy. And Tyler was like, crappies? <laughs> I'm in, let's go now. I was I actually to, yeah. in the other room and I heard the word crappies and I came sprinting in there. He actually had the boat loaded and ready to go last <laughs> yeah, night. And I, I was like, no, it's tomorrow. But, I you did, know. that was awesome. We're excited, it's gonna be awesome. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to focus on roaming crappies right now. It's late summer and they're transitioning from their shallow stuff, they're going out and they're looking for mud flats and they're eating a lot of bugs. So I think that's where this bait from Freedom yeah. Baits is gonna excel. It's the right time of year. Yeah. The bait looks phenomenal, yep. super excited. The weather is supposed to be a little questionable <laughs> today. Um, we have a lot of clouds. We have some storm cells rolling through in and out, yeah. but hopefully that'll get the fish riled up It'll for get us. Riled up. And we'll be putting Put a lot of fish in the live well. And we're gonna make Reagan happy as well because we're gonna bring some yeah. home. And we got a couple things to combat. This lake that we're gonna fish, it's got dirty water. Dirty water. And the fish are gonna be spread out, so cover water is gonna be crucial. And having, we say this all the time, match the hatch type baits. Right. It's gonna be an insect looking type bait that we're gonna show you. We're excited to show you. I'm but excited. I think it's gonna be good. I'm excited to get out there, catch some slabs. <laughs> so everybody stay tuned. We'll be right back with some great right slab on. action right after a word from our sponsors. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. For their full lineup of UPF gear, check out strikerbrands.com. Sarah, we are out here. We made her out to our destination. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, that wind needs Good to calm fishing. down a little bit, though. Yeah, Ooh, Pete. a little bit, a uh, little bit of rain this morning, and it's supposed to taper and off, off, and yeah. wind is supposed to die down. So, so what we got going here is we're in a main lake basin. To our east and to our west, we have two big bays, and those are the spawning bays. Crappies move up there, they do their thing, then they start to transition back out here pretty much right after they're done, and all they do is roam this huge bay. Penny. And, it, and eat. it's a huge mud flat. There's fish all over the place. We're marking fish right now in our 2D. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna depend on our electronics a lot today. That's gonna be huge. So we're gonna use the Mega Live and that. Sarah's gonna be operating that for most of the day and I'm gonna be catching most of the crappies. So that's gonna be cool. Oh wow, <laughs> I didn't know that but was the plan. We're gonna use electronics a lot. We're gonna use the, the Mega Live is gonna be huge for us. We're gonna scout with that. We're gonna scope. We're gonna go on top of them, use the spot lock set up cast out to them if you yeah, have to. Hopefully find, hopefully find a couple group together, right. you know, fish for those, then move on to the next group, you know, because I, 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 th I would think they're going to be spread yeah, out, but like crappies, out. you know, hopefully they'll be with some buddies. Yeah, hopefully they got some pals down with them, but it's so crucial to use your electronics because this area where we're fishing is it's probably, what, 600 acres of a main lake basin. Not a good But the cool thing is side. it's only 22, 23, 24 foot. So they could be anywhere, but that's where they are. So it kind of narrows it down a little bit. We're gonna come out here. We're gonna use the Mega Live right now. We're gonna start scouting, start fishing. Let's get on. Out. That did not Locked take and long. loaded. No, it did not. As soon nice. as you get down there, they come up. He looks good. Good fish or no? Mm, you know what? I have no idea. Oh, wow. Nice crappie. Oh, yes. Nice wow. crappie. It, uh, it takes a little bit to get down. Get him up here. Get that fish up here. I know, but I have really light line. <laughs> so That's... we're using really light tackle. So it takes a little bit to get them up. Nice. Or lab. get down there, I mean. But once they get down there, they do not take long to hit it. A good hook set, too. I yeah. like it. Yes. Beautiful. How do you hit? Just come up underneath yes. it and whack it? Yep. Good work. The right 
underneath the rig. Look at you go. Trying to. Good fish. Gradually bring him up the water column. Friend, we're crappie fishing. Good. We're crappie fishing. I'm so excited yeah. that we're out here. This is so much fun. Tyler loves oh, the crappie. Oh yeah, look at that. Another dandy. That big paper mouth comes up from the deep and Tyler's like, ah! Uh, you just got two in a row. Yeah. That guy's gonna go back. He's a small one. Is he? That is, that. you know what? A 12 <laughs> a inch crappie one. is gonna be our small one look for the day. Yeah. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am really okay they with that. They are gobbling it they up. Are. It is not taking long. Hey, it's bugs over top of mud flats. Ah, uh, that's a big fish on the screen. Are you down there? I, I'm trying my best. Staring at something. You got one? Got it. Yes. Got it. Now, do you want me to get the nets since it's your first one? Uh, I would say that as far as my hook set goes, it's not one of my best. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, look at that slab. Heck yeah. Ooh, yes. that's a nice one. Come here, buddy. Get him in. Oh, I'll get him in. Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yes. Wow. I like what's inside that's of his a, mouth too. That's a nice one. I like it. He was uh, being a little finicky. For your baits, they got a ton of molds and they keep coming out with new stuff every year. They got several coming out for 2023. Awesome. And the Hornet's one of them <laughs> so far. I mean, we got- I'd say it's We tradition. got what, seven, eight crappies already? Yeah. And we've been out here for 15 minutes. Not long. Just sitting on top of this mud flat, catching big slabs. Uh, one of my favorite things to do. I think I'm gonna eat that one, hung. There you go. That one feels like it pulled that a little drag. looks like I might get the net for him. We shall see. Do you think I need it? I see a lot of bend. There is a lot of bend. There's a lot of pull. I'm coming. When oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it's when, starting to pull a little bit. When we're bit. talking big slabs, it's I'm all in. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. When look crappies at that. start oh, to my pull. Goodness. That is a big slabber. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Good job. Beaut. Okay. I got a lot of line out. Beautiful. You really netted me way out there. Well, I no. Sarah, I saw a calico and I'm like, that's gotta get in the boat. No, you know you what did, I mean? You did good. Look at this. Look at that this one. is a huge, huge <laughs> slab. It's bigger than my face. Oh, <laughs> you got a big head too, so that's not easy to do. Wow. That's, that means that's a big slab. Wow, look that at the hump. That is awesome. Sarah, yeah. that is an awesome that is fish. Awesome. And they, what I'm noticing is they don't want to come that much up off the water right. column. You got to drop it down. You know, normally crappies are suspended, but right now we kind of they have are, the front. They are, yeah, they're right on the bottom. And here, they look, don't right want to come up. Take a look here, you see the two fish, they're about a foot off the bottom. And those are the ones we're working, but Sarah's right. You're down at the bottom and you're just, it's if very finesse bite right now. You're too far up, they're not coming. So that's awesome. But yeah. they are just barely, traditional crappie bite coming up underneath it, yeah. barely sucking it in. That's awesome. Yeah. Huge slab. Good job. Jealous that's right tough. here. This guy's jealous. We're going to put this one back. Yeah, let's totally dip it and get a picture. Yeah. You, you just hit it. You probably got them on. There you go. A lot of slack in my line there as I'm just dropping down. They are not they able like. to resist. No. That's Freedom nice Bait's Hornet too. motor oil color is just tearing it up right now. Pulling these fish in like crazy. That's a dandy. I mean, get down there and fish on. Well, I cannot see very well. Wow, that's a nice one. That is a dandy. Look at that. Nice job. Oh my goodness, this bait is just You're, you're catching on fish. Fire. We're gonna put that one back. Freedom Baits, this is a new bait, the Hornet. And motor oil is. I'd say it looks like about 16 different type of bugs. Producing, yeah, it's, it's awesome. I mean, all the tentacles, and then you, I got the tail hanging, so that's causing that action. Yep. And it's just a real natural color. Um, we're fishing in stained water, so I went natural. They can just see the outline of that, come up and gobble it up. You know, I think uh, part of the action, or mimicking part of the action is uh, reminding me of uh, when we Lindy rig, and mm -hmm. we Lindy rig with a leech, and you say, go slower, Yep. go slower, because yep. a leech swims very, very slow. Right. And you want to repeat that same speed. Yeah. And so larva is going to swim and fairly slow. And well, the yeah. other thing is, and you touched on this earlier, you were, you were talking about why they don't want to come up. And you hit the nail on the head. You said because their food is not super high up. Their food is on the bottom, moving around. Right. The insect but larva bugs in the mud. come from the mud <clears throat> underneath. Yeah. So yeah. And exactly. so that's exactly why they're not chasing. And this, this bait itself, it's, it's really cool because 
you just give it a tiny bit of movement and that tail is back there. It's really neat. It's yeah, really it's not like going crazy, like it's just very slow. What's the word they use? I'm gonna use pulsate because there's another word I can't say. What is it? Undulate. Uh, undulate? <laughs> you guys know what we're talking about. It's just barely moving. Go with you don't, pulsate. Yeah, pulsate. We'll go with pulsate. You don't have to move it a whole lot. And that's, look at that. Oh, look at that. See? Yeah. And you can even catch them when you're talking. That's nice. Which is kind of a cool deal. It is. It's but a neat bait. You're and just barely. We're going to get we dubs. dubs. Now, this is fun. Oh, my. Now, this goodness. is fun. And this is why I got a tackle box. Why we got a tackle There's box? There's a lot of action in here. Of Freedom Baits Hornets. That's a nice fish. Ooh. Let's see yours. What do you got, big fish? I got a nice one. They're, oh yeah. Well, they're all that. nice, but there you go. Nice Look fish. Bring yeah. it up here. Let's compare. Double here. I think I got you. Beautiful. Let's see. School of crappies down there, fun? looking just like that. Your color has been producing no motor oil. I got chartreuse with black flake, but I don't know they're like identical. <laughs> <Are> Twins. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> yeah, like what a blast. That is. That's fun. Hey, bugs. Wow. Bugs get eaten by fish. Right? Mm -hmm. And so do hornets with freedom baits that you eat. By, <laughs> I don't know. I would say fish, fish get eaten by humans. I never <laughs> that, know you know what? That's, uh, that's the circle of life. And yes, you're correct. <laughs> they get eaten by humans. Give me that fish. I'm putting the live well. <laughs> this segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. Plan your next fishing trip at northlandtackle.com. That one walloped. I feel like you were really reeling that one up. Well, he came up and slammed that thing. Oh, oh yeah, look at that dude. Yeah. Some that's shoulders on I'm that one. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's a nice one. Yeah, look at that toad. Wow. Wow. That's Giant. a big fish. I love it. What a fish. Look what's hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> the old hornet. The old hornet. Oh, that, I barely had him pinned right there. That. Is a dandy. That's a good dandy one. Crappie. Nice. I love it. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Come back and get it. Did you have a hit? Yep. There you go. There we go. Cast that one out. Did you? And You're using the Mega Live though. That's not fair. What do you got? No, I didn't. Oh, 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 oh. I oh, did oh. not use the Mega Oh, you Mega didn't? Live okay. One. I apologize. That's a big. Do you want the net or you got him? No, oh, gosh, don't. that's a nice crappie. Uh, good work. Barely hooked in the top of his lip. Got him. Look at that. Good work. Like that? It's like that. You got dubs? You want to do dubs? Oh my gosh, this is fun. We we'll do, do dubs. dubs. Well, you know what? I want you to let me catch a fish by myself once. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. You're on fire today. Woo! Oh, mine is a big fish. Mine is a big fish. Oh, Real yes, big crappie. Nice. Wow. They're both dandies, look at this. Oh, mine is a bottom lip hook. <laughs> Woo! There we go. Oh my gosh, yeah. are you having fun? This is awesome. <laughs> so fun. Oh wow. my goodness. Sarah said, you know what? I'm let's glad go. we came out in yeah. the rain this morning. She said, let's go fish for crappies. You actually did say this. You're like, let's go try crappies. And I'm like, okay. She had to really oh, yeah. twist my arm uh -huh. to come out here. Right. <laughs> Good thing really we did. I mean, there. overcast day like this, I love a little it. bit oh of wind. Oh my gosh. You mix it with the right habitat, the mud flats, find them on the flats. Yes. They're there all year round. I mean, the crappies oh, don't leave the mud. Why? Because it's a buffet. There's so much food I'm down there. I'm putting mine back. And you that? have slabs, one after another. Oh my gosh, you want to show them off together? Yeah, show them off together. What a blast. Tyler always likes yep. to stop this and is break down what we're using. Favorite part of each episode, we get to talk about what we're using and we're pretty excited because this is Freedom Baits new line for 2023 of soft plastics. They got so many different molds, yes, so many do. different type of soft plastics, micro stuff to catch panfish and this is their new hornet coming out for 2023 and first time we're using it first time we got to lay eyes on it and it's passing the test it I, is catching a ton of slabs and i would agree and i like that it's a little bit uh larger profile yep um so we're fishing exactly. open water it gives it a little bit more um bulk bulk is a great word, great thank word you. Yep. Uh, gives it a little more bulk so that uh, the fish can see it a little bit better 
And we paired that with a deep V jig from Northland Tackle. It's 1 16th ounce because we're crappie fishing, you want something small. Yep. But I would say so far the pair has just been phenomenal. It's been phenomenal. And you touched on something a little earlier. You're talking about how the fish don't want to come up in the water column. And that's because they're down there focused. They're feeding on insect larvae. They're mm -hmm. feeding on bug larvae. They're feeding on invertebrates. Anything that's close to the bottom, they're going to eat. And I do like the size, that bigger size. We talk about that all the time. How crucial is it to match the hatch? Correct, yeah. On when, no, it doesn't matter the species. You got to... It does not, no. When they're in a certain piece of structure, they're there because there's a certain food. And here in the mud flats, it's bugs. So you got to match the hatch, and the hornet's doing it phenomenally. We're catching a lot of fish. You're okay. going to eat right now. I was just going to say, okay, you I'm eat, ready to eat. I fish. <laughs> I like that deal. Let's do it. Feels good. Feels good. Oh yeah. Oh Whoa, yeah. That's a Look nice that. one. That's a nice slab. Uh, you gonna swing him? I'm gonna go down and grab him. Okay. I'll swing him. I've been swinging them all day. Yeah. That is a really, 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 really nice crappie. Wow. Wow. That is a nice <laughs> one. Holy yes, cow. it is. And the hook sets, like we talked about all day, have just been unbelievable. Getting in there. The hornet is a producer. Sarah. I would. Yes, I agree. I mean, unbelievable. Look at that thing. It's big. It's bulky. <laughs> it's <laughs> the big. Fish bulky. Love it. The fish are sucking they it do in. Love it. Yes. Here, reach into my sack of goodies. Get another hornet out. I'll show you guys how we're rigging these up on the deep V jig heads here. The deep V's got a nice little that little extra bar right there. That is for it's a lure keeper, so it keeps your soft plastic on there from sliding down all the time. Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. But you notice that long shank hook. That's what we want. Gets back on the bait quite a bit, so you get those really, really, really good hook set. But you just thread it on like that. I go past the second little ball of his body there, and then right into the tail with these. Just, just enough where that whole body comes up, and you slip it right over top of the bait keeper, and it sits perfect. You see how that bait's sitting? It's not bunched up, it's not crooked. So in the water, it's right and true. Yep, I got a fish. Good fish? Um, I mean, it feels decent, but... You think a net? Oh my goodness. It's a big one. Yeah, that is a deer. Wow. That is a deer. He just jumped. Did he? Let me get it for you. Nice job, <laughs> Sarah. That is a beast. Ooh. Good for you. Wind picked up a little bit. I put my hood up because I was cold and... Wow. Good thing we netted him. That's a big fish. Yeah, it is. That's a nice one. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Whew. Crappy fishing is just becoming more and more fun the bigger that they thing get. That is beautiful. Look at that. Wow, that's a dandy. That is fun. I am so happy that you decided to come out here. <laughs> this is a blast. Me too. Wow. That's another giant. I'm getting back down here. Yeah, get back down there. You don't there. get all of them. There he is. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, my, oh, gosh. My, oh gosh. my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you want oh the net? Gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. This is a giant. This is a giant. You got the net, hun? I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Oh geez, I didn't pop it in. I might as well just go down and grab it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you guys see this fish. This is what, you know what, we talk, I talk all the time about how exciting crappie fishing is for me. I just love it. I don't know why I like big slabs so much, but this fish right here is a perfect example why I get excited. Wow. Yeah, this is a big <laughs> That's slab. That's a nice one. That is wow. a giant. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of that thing. That's a nice fish. That is a yeah. That is That's why we got the net, yes. even though it was a little chaotic, <laughs> but. That is a 14 incher all day long. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at his mouth. Pops right out of there. Yeah, look at the size of that yeah. mouth on that fish. Get a big bait in there. That's you can put, yeah, you can. You can put a lot of stuff in there. You know what? <laughs> we put a lot of hornets in there today. <laughs> yes, we have. I can't keep my balance no, either. I'm that so fish excited. right there is absolutely gorgeous. Nice. Really pretty fish. And you know, we've been keeping a lot of fish today, but no. these, big, these big toads like this guy need to go back. It's so important. So I'm going to yeah. put, put her right back in the water. What a dandy. I want to get a picture. The rumble bug from Northland Tackle. This snack-sized powerhouse with its tight action and reliable tracking. High-quality balsa body with through-wire construction. Gives you longer casts and unmatched durability. Northland Tackle. We are walleye. All right, Sarah. This is very rare coming from me, especially when we're crappie fishing, but we got to go. It's getting... Low light conditions, we got a little bit of boat ride to get home, and I gotta clean a bunch of fish tonight. Yes, but, we do have a lot to do. But I have made the executive decision oh boy. that we are coming back tomorrow. 
<laughs> so never fear, we're coming back. Yes, I'll get is, my crappie fixed, no this worries. This has been a good day. It, it, it started out misty and rainy and cold yeah. and we were kind of fighting cells, which actually might've been to our benefit. Yeah. The fish became- The fish were active, a little, there's no question yeah, about it. Yeah, they became aggressive during some of those little cells, but um, it turned out to be an absolutely beautiful day out yeah, on the water. The sun is shining on us. Finally. And we put a lot of fish in the boat. We did, and giving them something that they want to eat Yes. It's a big deal, especially when there's plenty of food down there like it is this time of year, mm -hmm. midsummer. The other thing is that you got to think about is what are they eating? Match the hatch. You know, it doesn't matter Very if it's important. muskies, no. walleyes, smallies, Yeah. If you hoppies. know what the fish are targeting, yeah. then you can be able to match the hatch. Oops, sorry about that. Find something that's yeah. similar. And we were able to do that. Freedom Baits has a ton of soft plastics, a plethora of shapes, sizes, colors, anything kind of that yeah. you, you're looking for. And then when they told us that they were introducing some bigger, bulkier baits for open water, yes. we were really excited. The excitement about level went through the roof. We were <laughs> excited about that. Yes, we were. We had a whole bunch of ideas. So the Hornet definitely proved yeah. successful today. Uh, we, we tied that in on with the Northland Deep V jig head. And the thing that we touched on earlier and kind of talked about all day was the mud flats. Mm -hmm. There's always crappies roaming the mud flats. Yeah, it's got, absolutely. it's like a, a buffet. Food 24 seven, 365 that they can go, they, hey, you know what? They're hungry, let's go to the mud flats. That's what they all say. They all come out here, they eat. Okay. You put a hornet in front of them, you catch them. Yeah. There's always fish on the mud flats. You're, you know, that's a big thing in the wintertime, mud flats. Yes. Uh, there's a big thing in the spring with the hatch, first hatch of the bugs. And then summertime, you got all the bugs down there moving around the bottom, small fish coming in. Basically, to eat them. what Tyler's trying what, to what say, am I trying is to say here? go to the mud flats. Mud flats. <laughs> mud flats produce crappies, hornets produce limits. We had a fun day today. We did, absolutely. We thank you all so much for watching. We appreciate it very much. Be sure to check out Freedom Baits, Northland Fishing, Tackle, everything we talked about today to make sure you get your limits of crappies when you're out. That's right. And we will see you next week on the Sportsman's Journal. For more information on the brand new Hornet and all of Freedom Baits soft plastics, check out freedombaits.com.